What we know for certain is that the EU is going to do something. Not exactly sure what that's going to be. Obviously, the price cap is one of the things that's suggested there to tackle the energy crisis and the, the skyrocketing bills. Uh, in a speech today, the EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said that energy markets needed emergency intervention and a structural reform of the electricity market. She also set out what she called the key question of this issue, uh, which was, will the rule of power replace the power of rules? Uh, uh, not even a veiled comment, a comment directly targeted at Russia, adding that the EU should hope uh, to neutralize Russia's blackmail capabilities when it came to energy supply. Now, uh, that's the geopolitical picture, but a lot of people across Europe will be wondering well, how this will impact our energy bills and how will this reduce costs for households and businesses across the continent. Well, one of the things suggested, as you said, is a price cap. So Austria, Italy, Belgium, uh, all, and the Czech Republic, of course, all supporting the price cap at the moment. Not entirely clear if that's one of the solutions that will be presented in the uh, emergency meeting next week to tackle this problem. Uh, Austria also su uh, suggesting that you uncouple the price of gas and electricity at the moment. If there's a surge in gas prices, electricity uh, prices are benchmarked to that and would rise as well. One solution proposed by Germany, meanwhile, is to allow um, wholesale sellers of cheaper energy like uh, wind or solar to sell their energy for cheaper at the moment. They're uh, uh, benchmarked again against gas prices. So those are two options. The first step, of course, is to have that emergency meeting next week to hash out uh, which solutions will come forward, be it the price cap or slightly uh, smaller uh, structural reforms like von der Leyen was calling for today. So what will ministers be hoping to achieve at this emergency meeting? Well, like many things with the EU, it depends uh, entirely who you ask. I, I, as I said, Belgium is very, very supportive um, of the, the uh, price cap. Belgium has been hit hardest by energy inflation across Europe. Uh, Ursula von der Leyen, the EU commissioner, uh, saying that the, uh, in a speech today, which we'll hear, is saying that the energy as a whole needs reform. The limitations of our current electricity market design. It was developed for completely different, under completely different circumstances and completely different purposes. It is no more fit for purpose. And that's why we, the Commission, are now working on an emergency intervention and a structural reform of the electricity market. Presumably, uh, President von der Leyen, they're not wanting to preempt the decisions that, were make, that will be made at the meeting next week. Um, and so not being entirely clear on what that commitment and what that uh, reform would be. But clearly a strong signal that the European Union will be doing something uh, to tackle this crisis. So Belgium and the Czech Republic both, for example, pushing for a price cap, while others not entirely uh, dedicated to that. Interestingly enough, Austria was skeptical of a price cap in the past and now has changed its position. So that could be a sign of things to come. But the long and short of it, with energy prices uh, breaking, breaking records on a daily basis, European governments and the European Union will be very eager to find a solution to this crisis and to find one very fast.